Hey guys, so it is 4th of July, so I thought I would do my pool day makeup look. It's pretty light and natural, but I just thought I would film this. We're going to be doing a little bit of a chit chat get ready with me. I'm going to update you on a couple things in my life, particularly the acne, the cystic acne that I have going on. So let's get into it. The first thing I'm going to do is moisturize my face with the Glow Recipe Watermelon Glow Pink Juice Moisturizer. And we're just going to put that all over our face. So I did have a very large cystic acne uh, taken care of. It was extremely large. You can still kind of see it went from about here to about here. It was pretty swollen. After about four weeks, I had to go and see a dermatologist, and she did have to um, extract it. She had to cut it open, y'all. She had to cut it open. I've never had that happen before. So to prime my face, I'm going to use the Coats Face Natural Skin Tone Sheer Matte Finish Lightly Tinted. I like this stuff. It does have SPF 40 in it, and I like that it has a tint as well. So yeah, I did have to go and see a dermatologist about this. Um, I've had cystic acne in the past and um, I've never actually had to have any taken care of. Usually they change, you know, they start growing a white head or go away or, you know, especially after about a month. But I had this for about four weeks and there was no change um, from maybe about week two so for about two weeks the consistency the texture the swollenness didn't change so for this pool party natural look I'm gonna use the NYX total control foundation I think this is a nice natural looking foundation I'm gonna use two different shades and we're gonna go in with the NYX beauty sponge she did take a sample of the bacteria when she did the extraction and the results were a little scary. I don't have normal bacteria. I have bacteria that don't even have like real results on Google. So um, there is not just medication I can take for this. Most of the bacteria that I have does need an antibiotic. My dermatologist suggested instead of paying a lot for these antibiotics for these bacteria that are not popular to see if my body can get rid of it on its own. So it has um, gone down significant I was testing eyeliner it has gone down a significant amount and it has even gotten better over the last few days so I'm hopeful um so yeah that is maybe why you haven't seen a whole lot of posts on social media and new videos I've been dealing with this for about two months and um, since May 9th was the day that it popped up. So I've been dealing with this since May 9th, that's July 4th. I've really had to come to terms with the fact that I can't just have some normal acne medication like everybody else in the world does. Um, I'm, I'm grateful that my body has healed um, a lot of itself, but I don't know how this is gonna heal. I don't know what this is gonna look like. It's scary. I've been pretty scared, but... It's okay. We all have... <sighs> There's a lot of people out there with cystic acne, and I'm just trying to be okay with it. So, that's the update for that. Now I'm going to go in with my Maybelline Fit Me Concealer in Bare. As you can see, that foundation is really nice. Um with the amount that I used it just kind of gives like a very natural finish and you can still kind of see your skin 
And then for my chin, I'm going to use the It Cosmetics Bye Bye Breakout Concealer in Fair. And then over here, the same It Cosmetics Bye Bye Breakout in Light. And we're gonna blend. My husband and I, we mounted our TV this weekend. And I really like it. I think it's really nice. I feel like I'm not like looking down at my TV anymore, which is really nice. So if you're thinking about mounting your TV and you don't know, I suggest, I suggest it's really nice. Now I'm taking the Maybelline Fit Me Powder and I'm just gonna run a little bit of that under my eyes and the places that I have concealed with my Morphe R10 brush. And I just like to dab out any lines and then pack on powder. Now, if you're not oily or you don't get creasing under your eyes, I don't actually suggest uh, setting your makeup for this type of look. But I am oily. And even though this is a pool party, I'm still going to be, you know, out and about doing things as well. Okay, I am going to put on a little bit of the Milani Bake Bronzer in Dulce just to give my face a little bit of color. I am representing my Murka swimsuit today. It's got this cute little floof. I'm going to liberally run that bronzer on our face. And I have had some people um, ask me like, how do I get my bronzer to look like natural? And honestly, you just need to blend. Like just kind of putting it on isn't really going to do you any justice. You really gotta blend that in. Now I'm gonna grab my Sigma E70 medium ang angled shader brush and I'm gonna Put a little bronzer on my nose. And then with the same bronzer, I'm just gonna run that in my crease a little bit. We had a birthday party for my husband last weekend. He turned 30, so that's super cool. He's an old man. <laughs> yeah, but we had a bunch of people over and um, we had nacho cheese and taco dips all types of dips and booze it was great <laughs> it was really fun we actually haven't had a party in our apartment since we moved in six years ago so it was a good excuse to kind of throw a party and yeah it was fun now i'm gonna put on some blush we're gonna use the M milani baked blush in luminoso now, normally for this look, I honestly probably wouldn't wear a foundation, but I thought the NYX Total Control Drops were nice for this sort of occasion. So for video purposes, I did put on some foundation, but you definitely don't have to. I did forget to put some of the bronzer under my lower lash line, so I am just gonna do that really quick. Now I'm gonna do brows. So I haven't actually tried this yet, I just got it. It's the Brow Vo Conditioning Primer. So. Oh, there we go. And then just to fill in the sparse areas of my brow. I'm just gonna be using the Gimme Brow in the shade three. And then I am just going to brush through with a spoolie. And then just to define them just a hair more, I'm gonna be using the Goo Proof Brow Pencil. And I just wanna get a little bit more on the tail and where my scar is. Where my cat got me. It was in the middle of the night. I think something spooked him. I think it was me. And he just kind of freaked out and ran and he hit my face. So, I think I've told that already, but if 
For any of you new people here, that's where my scar is from. Alright, so those are the brows done. Now I'm going to move back to eyes. I'm going to use the Cargo Swimmables Longwear Eyeshadow in Glacier Bay. It's kind of like a stick. And it's like a nice pretty champagne color. So I am going to use that on the lid. And in the inner corner. And I'm just going to blend that with my little pinky finger. Just kind of like that. And then I'm going to take my fluffy Morphe M504 that I used in my crease in the same bronzer, the Milani Bake Bronzer in Dulce. And we're just going to blend. I'm just going to blend that in a little bit. Makes it a little bit more gold instead of white. Can you see? And then we're going to throw on some highlighter. I'm going to highlight with the Sigma Tapered Highlighter F35 and my Becca Cosmetics Champagne Pop. And then I'm also going to throw on a little bit of the Dose of Colors Fuego Highlighter. So I'm going to be putting that on my cheekbones, down the center of my nose, Cupid's bow. Don't forget the collarbones and the shoulders, y'all, especially by the pool. I am going to be using my BH Cosmetics flat brush to put this on my brow bone as well. Alright y'all, now we're going to spray with some MAC Fix Plus. Mmm, that rose scent, I die. And then we're just going to pat everything in. All the powders that we used, all the highlighter. So, now we're going to go for mascara. I really don't buy a lot of waterproof mascaras, but if you're going to a pool party, I do suggest using a waterproof mascara. So, for that, I have a Too Faced Better Than Sex mascara. It is the waterproof. It's a little sample. So we're just going to chuck on lots of mascara. Alright, let's do some lips, shall we? Let's do some lips. I'm going to be using the Kylie Cosmetics Malibu Lip Liner. Using a little MAC cream cup. And then I'm going to throw on a little gloss. I'm going to use the Ultra Glossy Lip Shayla X ColourPop in Neat Freak. It's a really pretty glittery, sparkly type of lip gloss. Okay guys, so this is my finished pool party look. I think it's really natural nice and glowy and um, I do feel like it's gonna fade nicely like there's not gonna be weird things that are just coming off in streaks since it's so natural you can still see my freckles and things through I think it's a really nice look for a pool party well, happy 4th of July. I hope you guys enjoyed watching this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe. If you want to be notified when I upload a video, please hit the little bell next to the subscribe button and you'll be notified when I upload a video. I hope you have a great day or night wherever you are. Tati bye. Like this stuff, it does have SPS in it. Creasing under your eyes, I don't suggest setting your makeup for this type of. <sighs> okay.
Do you guys see my shoulder like this? Oh, there. 